everyone, Ellie Diecast here again, and we're back. I thought I'd start with a pile of painted castings here from the custom shop. I got two emails this week, and uh, one was someone asking me if I was still doing customs, because I hadn't seen them in the show very much, and sorry, I don't have the, the name of the person that sent that email. And the other one was somebody that uh, was talking to me about somebody else, and in their email they said that they knew that I had stopped doing customs because something, something. No, no, I haven't stopped doing customs. In fact, I've actually been doing quite a few. It's just I've been working on a project that I can't really share here on the video for non-disclosure reasons, but it's all custom car stuff. It's just for a company that wanted me to do a large order, and it took some time. Also, I've been, uh, you know, most of the things I do in customs really are experimenting. And I was just experimenting with different ways to um, apply masks and different um, paints to use. So I actually have been doing customs. So I wanted to show you where some of them were. Um, just to show you the paint, I don't know if this will show up here in the video. Probably would show up better if I had the diffuser. And this, this casting has not been sanded yet, so it might look a little rough. But if you can tell, there's kind of an iridescence or a sheen. Basically trying to get the same type of paint that you might see on the Cool Classics. That AR Arcuda. If you're wondering what's going on there, that's a base of red with blue painted over it. It looks like purple, but it's only red and blue. And that's what I was spending a lot of time doing, is mixing colors. Um, here's another one. And this one was a base of yellow, I believe. No, gold with blue painted over it and it's got this really cool aqua I don't know if the sparkle or the sheen will show up it may look kind of dead there in the video but uh, this little super bee he is going to be something awesome here's another one this one has been um, enameled so it may show up I I don't know if it'll show up but if it turns from red to green there or a reddish maybe like a like a burgundy to a kind of an aqua that's the paint job I was trying to do granted those are not the prettiest colors together and they were not at all the colors I was actually trying to get <laughs> but the effect is really cool and I uh, wish I'd done it on something a little bit bigger than a bone shaker but you will see him finished and then look at these guys these guys are uh, using our masks and uh, ignore this line right here. I can sand that out. This is this is uh, has not been cleared yet, so it's really delicate. And if you look closely, you'll see some errors that are going to be painted out, like that big chip right there. Those will be painted out. But uh, you can see, I don't know if it shows, but what I was playing with was going from the negative image to a positive image to a negative, meaning going from unpainted fire, the blue, to painted fire the red and yellow to unpainted fire the blue again and if that doesn't make sense don't worry about it it's, it confuses me too <laughs> here's another example this one goes from the orange red fire flames you see that all the time right to black it's like magic so it's kind of like a two layered effect but uh, this one has not been cleared yet either it looks really dull you can see my touch up there if I get the light just right all that actually disappears when the enamel goes on it because the enamel will uh, clear up all those smoothing differences look at this guy I don't know if he'll show up this is one of my favorite one and uh, I have the, the little recipe off here to the side but I don't remember what I did with this one I have it written down uh, this was maybe black with blue on top I'm thinking I'm not sure but that one's going to look cool. All of these will probably have flames painted on them eventually. So, I just wanted to prove I have been doing stuff. I haven't left customizing. I just have totally sold out and gone for the, the money for the last month and a half. I will be back doing customs very soon, and you'll get to see them. Okay, we're going to be back here in just a second with the rest of the video. Okay, we're back. And in the rest of this video, anyways, we're going to be talking about cars that are either real cars, real castings based off of real cars, or cars that you might have thought were real that really aren't. And uh, I've told you before, when I divide these up into how I'm going to talk about videos, I, I usually don't really have a plan. I just kind of put them in piles and move them around until it kind of strikes me that there's an, an interesting 
relationship between the cars and I shoot the video and then we organize them and the cars get sent away to somebody else or they just get organized but this one's been around for a while and these cars uh, were all supposed to be real cars that was my plan for the video but it turns out some of them aren't even real so first we've got a Ferrari 355 this is uh, designed by Larry Wood it's a real car but Larry Wood did the casting I mean that's no big surprise he did most of the castings from 1995 um, it is a real car. There's variations. Where is it? Uh, is this the one without? Here we go. See that little Hot Wheel sign there on the back? It takes forever to find. Little Hot Wheel sign on the back. The variations of this one is in the color of that. There's lots of variations on the color of the Hot Wheel logo on that little guy. So, Ferrari 355. Next up. We got this guy, Muzzle Tone. We got two of them. I don't know how I ended up with two of them. Here, we'll flip them around there. Be like showroom. Also, we've got the diffuser on here, so I hope they're not, uh, we don't get them too bright there. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit more, though, so we, there we go. We've got, we're at night right now, and the bugs are moving in. They're attracted to my lights. Summer out here in Southern California, I know we complain about bugs, and I know we don't know bugs in Southern California. I've been where they know bugs. Trust me, our bugs are nothing. But we hardly ever get bugs, and I'm getting swarmed by these strange little bugs right now. So if they crawl all over everything, it'll just be a part of our quality production. <laughs> so uh, Muscle Tone, not a real car. Looks like it. I thought it was. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's from two. This one's from 2000. This was the first edition. Um, this one is, is this the five spoke? Yeah, this is the five spoke version. Uh, the Hard to tell. This one has a blue interior. This one has a blue interior. You can barely see there's a little bit of blue in there. The black interior, that's what it was. I was trying to remember. Oh, bugs, bugs. <laughs> the black interior version is worth a lot more. Come on, guys, get lost. <laughs> so. I can tell this is gonna this is gonna go great. <laughs> We're gonna get swarmed here. So next up, we've got ourselves a Chevelle wagon. Um, this one, interestingly enough, by the way, this is the 2009 version, first edition. This is a nice one. This is my fav favorite version of the wagon. It's not really a real car. This one was a guaranteed guaranteed winner to be a real car it sort of is but not really uh there would never was sold with the ss um uh, uh badging on it this type of car this look to a chevelle certainly existed this one is labeled as a chevelle ss wagon there was no such thing as a super sport wagon that's what ss stands for super sport package so there was no such thing i think they thought about it but there was no such thing at least you can't buy one. So you can make one. You can't buy one. This one. Now, I don't really know what I was thinking on this one. I thought that uh, this was a fake car. <laughs> and uh, it's a real car. It's Callaway C7. And I have talked about this before. That was the problem. I've already told you it was a real car in an earlier video. And then I forgot. This particular one, which one's which here? The uh, uh, skating one. Is this the skating one? Yeah, this one. The blue one, I think, is from the Extreme Skateboard. Is that right? I think so. I might be wrong on that. Nope, sorry. Extreme Skateboarding. It's right there on the green one. Extreme Skateboarding is the green one. Um, that's from 1999. The Extreme Speed Series. The... Um, yeah, the C7, the Callaway C7 was built for GT1 racing. Made between 93 and 97, but never qualified at Le Mans. Um, Callaway started by making supercharger kits, so they didn't start by making cars. They, they made a part for a car. Um, the company still exists. They're actually located, I think, out here. Maybe San Diego, Southern California, somewhere. Um, this one, the other one, the blue one, I believe, came in a 2002 sports pack, sports car pack, something like that. Um, and the interesting thing about this, what 
What one was this? This one's baseball. I don't know if you can see that. It's a guy swinging a bat. It's baseball. Uh, the five cars in this this pack were hockey, baseball, football, soccer, hockey, baseball, football, basketball. <laughs> they were the five big sports, which is kind of a cool five pack. My wheels on that one are pretty well trashed, but there you go. Real car. The real car. Real car. We should have known that. This one. Bam. I don't remember what this one's called. This one just made me angry. <laughs> I picked it up because uh, it had this cool sea monster on it. I love those kind of retro-y tampos that just mean nothing on cars. I mean, that's right up my alley if you've seen my customs, the whole what does it mean thing. I just love that stuff. Uh, I don't know what this one is. I have no idea. <laughs> it's also got a crushed roof, which I didn't notice, so it's... This guy's going to get forgotten, but I just wanted to show you the Sea Monster Tampo. This guy, he has a real car, sort of, maybe. It's a 41 Willys. That is a real car. A 41 Willys looks nothing like this. This one has been stretched and lowered and chopped so that there is nothing left much of a 41 Willys. I'll see if I can find a picture for you to show you. This particular one is from the uh, 2004 Smashville 5-pack. Um, cool thing about these, I don't know if you knew this, but they have a fold-out wheelie bar. See that wheelie bar in the back? It folds up into the bottom. So this guy can't, he can't flip over doing his wheelies. I don't know that you'd see this guy doing wheelies anyways, but cool car. So 41 wheelies. Next up on our little tour is this tiny little guy. This one's Deuce, Deuce Roadster. Try saying that fast from 2000 from 2000 <laughs> mainline um this this is a it, it's sort of a real car i guess we'll count it as a real car it's a hot rod version of a 32 ford and uh if you look at a 32 ford i may have a picture of it that's showing now if you look at a 32 ford you'll see the the resemblance there come on bugs you're getting in my videos here in the summer it gets so hot during the day that uh we may have more of these night videos, so may have to close the garage door before we do them. This one is Rapster. No, it's not. It's an Olds Aurora. I was going to call him a Raptor. It's an Olds Aurora, and it is a real car. Um, this one came from the Raptor Blast 5 pack. You can see it says Raptor on the front. Real cool flames on this one. I really, really like those flames. You guys know I love the flame tampos. Um, this one came with a lot of wheel variations. This is the red three spokes. Came with a lot of wheel variations on the Aurora. Dodge Power Wagon. Uh, this one, I think, is a real car. Somebody will have to, have to tell me. I just took it for granted that it was. And the truth is, I was kind of enamored by the flame tampos on this one. <laughs> I really like the flames on this one. So... I may, uh, I may copy those. This one came from the Hot Rod Trucks 5-pack. And uh, we may have a uh, monstrous beetle here in our video pretty soon. We're getting bigger and bigger creatures. This one's from 2006. Next up, little Zamac version. Look at this guy. Interesting thing about this guy. He's a Zamac, but he was not marketed as a Zamac. He came in a 5-pack, believe it or not. I don't know if that's ever happened before. Um... There's, there's three versions of this car. This one's got a beat-up front on it, so it's not in perfect condition. It's a, it's a custom 69 Chevy, a real truck. It also goes by the uh, custom 69 pickup. So it goes by a couple different names. Here's one we've seen before. This guy didn't fool me this time. He's a Jaguar. This one always... I don't think of this as a Jaguar for some reason. I always go after different manufacturers when I'm trying to figure them out. Researching these cars can be kind of tough because they don't always give you the name on the car. In fact, anything from about 2000 or 1990 through about 2000, they don't give you the names on them at all. But uh, this is the Jaguar XJ220-220. It's, uh, it's from 1999, this particular car. I really like this color scheme on this one. This isn't really one of my favorite cars, but I really like that one. I like the asymmetrical stuff. Every time they get asymmetrical, 
There you go. And by the way, if you were looking at that going, well, it can't be too hard to figure out what it is because it was on the side. Yeah, well, sometimes I don't look at the obvious stuff. <laughs> so, uh, this one, real car. What is this car? I did not write it down. Wait just a second here. This is an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. There you go. I didn't write it down. Um, this one, I think, is from 2011. I didn't really look it up. I, I, was, I just remember it's not that old. And um, these cars were hand-built. There were not a lot of them. It's, uh, if you have one of these, you've got a lot of money. They were very, very expensive cars. All hand-built. Built to order. There's our buddy. The Zender Fact 4. We have seen a ton of these. I also went to a car show today. I picked up a few more of these, so we may have the whole collection of Zender Fact 4s here pretty soon. This one is from 1998. It's a real car. We've covered it before. Believe it or not, it looked like a fantasy car, but it is a real car. Look it up. Use that. Use the Google there. Look it up. I talked about it before in another video. Um, this guy, so fine. Sort of a real car. They call it a so fine. Get lost. We don't want your bubonic plague here. So this one is uh, based off of 51 Buick. And um, if you don't believe me, here's something interesting about the SoFine. I don't know if I can get this on, on camera. Uh, where is it? Where is it? See, the, see where it says SoFine there? See the GM TM? That's General Motors trademark. Because it's basically a Buick. So they even put the trademark on it. So... There you go. Uh, you know, you learn something new every day. This one um, is from 2010. It's from the Coolin Customs 5 pack. Almost done. This one. He's a McDonald's car. He just got mixed in here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this one is, uh, is it a Lamborghini? Ferrari? I don't know what he is. Somebody can post down before. I just I just noticed him. He got mixed in here. Sometimes Andrew goes through my cars and plays with them. And he puts them back in the wrong pile. So that one got put in the wrong pile. This guy, though, uh, there are seven variations of this car. This is the first edition. And there are seven variations of this car. And they are not easy variations. They have mostly to do with the... Uh, the tampo color back here, and I believe the interior uh, color. This one has tan. So this one's from 1998, first edition, like I mentioned. Um, the interesting thing here, this car, and I don't remember if it was on the front panel or the side panel, it had a tampo there. I think a side panel, because so you could see some black right there. The side panel on this car had black and it was either flames or a hot wheel logo or or something i don't really remember and a, sometimes we get these cars in that look like somebody took those off and i've seen videos where uh the, the folks will say well somebody took it off they probably didn't it's really rare to find cars resold or in bins where people have tweaked the car just doesn't happen that much what uh, probably happened is this is from boosters the booster wheels rub right against the side and if you play with them enough they'll rub the tampos off perfectly they'll also rub the chrome off the wheels and it's hard to tell here but the chrome is starting to rub off the wheels on this one so I'm guessing this guy is track track damage that's how hot wheels should go to the graveyard in the sky is on the track. Look at this guy. He's not really real. He's a tuned version. Um, this is a Lamborghini Countach, but he's tuned. Um, I just thought this one was interesting for the video. If this was a five-star wheel, those are not considered five stars. Um, if this was five-star wheels, it would be worth a lot for a tuned version of a, of a car. They tend not to be worth anything. But uh, this one would be worth some money if it had five stars on it. So, so there you go. I think that's all of them. I'm going to sign off. If you have not visited the uh, episode 185 for the contest, do that. 
Be on the lookout for our Fantasy Football League announcement that's coming soon or has already been made by the time this video hits. And I will see you all later. Bye.